What's going on guys? I hope you all are doing amazing. I am currently on my way to Dylan's house. I'm going to be installing the package that I showed you guys last week, which is right there. It is the reverse LEDs from Diode Dynamics. Pretty excited about it. Small little mod. Common question of the day is, what's your favorite TV show? I recently started getting into TV shows and I just watched Breaking Bad. That's like my first TV show that I ever actually finished. Other than that guys, smash that like button. Let's get this video to 100 likes. Take care, stay safe, enjoy the video. Daniel just got his roof blacked out. It looks freaking sick. Check it out, check it out. I think he's gonna get black headlights soon and then tint his windows. Oreo 6s? Oreo C6? Hey, Oreo C6 or what? Yeah, Oreo C6. Double stuff! <laughs> Dylan's over here installing side skirts. Hey, clean day out. Check out his Instagram, I'll put it up right there. At, uh, <laughs> you're not getting Instagram now, bro. This is your time to get on the Star Boys channel when you fumbled. <laughs> Last week we installed this emblem. GT coming soon. 1996 camera. GT coming soon. GT coming soon. Hey. Psych. Genesis coming soon. Hey, Genesis. Right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, 5.0 hey, coming soon. Let him know. Genesis or 5.0? Tell me right now, guys. Hey, check out the camera. C6 again. Corvette. That's right. <laughs> All right, so taking a look at the package here from Diode Dynamics, super simple. Let's go ahead and open it up, take a look at what's inside. There should be three lights in here. So you got the little Diode Dynamics sticker. Thanks for your purchase. Thanks for your purchase. All right, there's a bunch of BS. We don't care about that. All right, so here you got the HP5 LED bulbs. These are in cool white. So these are the white LED reverse tail lights. And then we got the trunk light as well. Right here, white HP3 LED bulbs. So these aren't the super bright ones, but they're like the minimum brightness. Because the super bright ones are like 40, 50 bucks. And nobody wants to pay 40, 50 bucks for some tail lights. All right, that one literally just goes right there. If you can see, is white. And then the reverse tail lights are in here. You guys know that there's the yellow ones in here, but literally all I have to do is just take everything out. There's a couple screws in here. Take the lining out and then you're good to go. All right guys, so today, Amir's gonna be installing this in my car. He doesn't know anything about cars, but he's trying to get into cars, so we're gonna teach him today, boys. But. So all we did right now was we just pulled the plastic liner off and the weather strip right here. And then there's two tabs that you take off right here. Just get a flathead, pull those two tabs out. And then we should be able to take this entire piece off. You see, this comes off. And then this is a harness right here. Go ahead and pull that harness off. All you have to do is press that button in and then pull it. Press that button in. Press it in. Yeah, this right press, here? yeah, yeah. Push that and pull it out. No, that one. Right there, yeah. Yeah, so I'm doing. Oh, this. Yeah, pull it. There you go. So now this piece is off, right? And then we're going to replace this bulb. All right, so trunk LED is super simple. Just pull it out and then push the new one in. Go ahead. Pull the bulb out, yeah. Just pull it out. It's hot. It's not hot. Yes, bro. it is. It's not hot. Bro, my hands are sweaty, bro. <laughs> Here. Hey, this guy is. Uh... <laughs> so I'm too strong for this shit. Dude, my hands are too big. Alright, this guy's a bum. I cannot take a freaking <laughs> bulb out, bro. So we got the bulb out. This is yellow, ugly. Do nothing with that. Go ahead and put the new one in. Yep, yeah, just like that. You'll hear a click. Horizontally. This way, right? Yeah. I'm not trying to break this shit. Bro, oh, we can't even put a ball. I'm trying, I'm trying. It's because I don't want to put it too low. Oh my goodness. Ten hours later, he finally figured out how to put a bulb in. Make sure it's all the way in. Put the harness back in. Oh! Hey. But it's kind of like... Not straight Crooked, Yeah, we fixed that. But yeah, it looks pretty good compared to the yellow one before. You guys saw it earlier. This mama, one's mama. way better. See the other one? Alright. Get access to the tail light. There's just two more tabs. One's gonna be right there. Right there, get a flathead, get them both out. Go ahead and pull this piece off now. And then the last screw is right there. I think it's a 10 millimeter. Pull that off and then you take this strip off and then you have access to the entire tail light. Alright? Go by step one again. Alright guys, I lied. It's actually an 8 millimeter. So yeah, this one right here guys, 8 millimeter. And then you come over here, take the weather strip off. These I believe are 10 millimeters right here. I'm a handy, handy worker, you feel? Your mom would be so proud of you. I've been putting a work in. <laughs> Alright, it's off, it's off, it's off. Okay. So it's in reverse right now. You guys can see the yellow tail lights. So this oh is what it looks like God. before. And then we're about to put in the white ones and then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. Once you get back in the tail lights, can you see it? It's gonna be this harness right here. Go ahead and just pull it out. Take the 
yellow bulb out and then you take your white bulb stick it right in then you do the hokey pokey should hear like a little click get that haptic feedback you know and then push it in make sure you get into the lock position go ahead and put it here and then do the reverse process all the way back in we're gonna do a test run over the white See what it compares to the yellow and white, and then y'all can see what it's like. So we got this one in now. Mary's gonna do the whole other side without asking me a single question. So what'd you just do? I just took out the pop sockets. Pop sockets? How many? Uh, I took two out this one right. and this one. Okay, now what are you gonna do? Now he's gotta take this hole out. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Now what are you gonna do? All right, and now. Oh no. Oh, I got it. Okay. Take that piece out right there. All right, all right. Let's do it. You have to use an 8 millimeter. Okay, okay. 8 millimeter suppressor right. film. Suppressor? Why not monolithic? Now what do you do? We took off this all right. sexy black thing right here. Okay. You take these two right here. Okay, do it. It takes um, a 10 millimeter. Oh, okay, right there. 10 millimeter. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like. The camera doesn't pick it up too well, but that's what the white light looks like. And then you got the reverse light and the fourth break light. And then you got the, of course you got the LEDs there. That's what the yellow looks like. You can't really see it on camera too well, but in person, it looks so much better with the white lights there. This looks so, so good. I think when it darkens up a little bit more, I'll try to get a better picture of it. But you can see right now, I mean, yeah, you can't really tell, but the white looks a lot better, guys. with the fourth brake light and then LED license plate lights, all this lights look good. Three, two, one, action. Action. Oh, action. Oh, <laughs> oh that is super oh. bright. That's a lot better than the yellow, guys. This is a $20 mod that you can do to your car. It looks really, really good. It just changes it up. So you can see the white LEDs, white license plate, and the white fourth brake light. Let's press the brakes real quick. It's pretty bright, bro. Yeah, it looks so much better, guys. Like the, the back of this car looks way better like this. So twenty dollar mod, super super easy to install as well. It takes like thirty minutes. Must have for your car, guys. We're back home now. It was a fun night. We didn't go to a car meet or anything, but it was cool, man. I know you guys can't see them right now, but the reverse LEDs look sick. It was cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that little quick installation. Like I said, if you got twenty bucks, it's an easy mod you can do to your Z. Other than that, guys, hope you all are staying safe. Take care. I'll see you guys next time with another one.